call this meeting of the Ohio County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this 14th day of September 2021 at 5 p.m. I want to ask uh, Larry, I mean Steve Crowder, if he will lead us in a prayer and pledge to the flag. Discussions, corrections, or additions? Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Hold flag sign. The minutes are approved. You have before you the uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers. We need a motion for approval. So second. Move. Second. Motion by Larry Morphew, second by Jason Bull. Uh, is there any discussion? Just everybody realized there was a late list late and list. a late, late list. A late list and a late, late list. Is there two things on the late, late? There's one thing that's divided two ways. Yeah. Okay. And that's just discretionary, it looks like. Okay. Yes. From uh, to us. Uh, there's no discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Hold the flag sign. The bill from Fanger passed. You have before you ordinance 2022 3, the budget amendment. Um, come again and what this is. For, this which, is uh, to amend in for $200,000 for a CDBG utility assistance grant that the fiscal court has to be the fiscal agent for. Audubon area will actually be. Uh, doing the paperwork that we just have to be the fiscal agent. Yeah. Miranda's done a lot of putting that together. Who moves? Yeah. So, motion by Larry Cam, second by Joe Bob. Is there any further discussion? <laughs> Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. And if the way things are here, I'm going to turn over and sign that. Okay. I make a motion to accept the treasurer or to uh, acknowledge the treasurer's August financial report. I'll second. Motion by Sam Small, a second by Joe Barnes to acknowledge the receipt of the treasurer's uh, uh, August 2021 financial report. Uh, any discussion or questions? Being none, all fair say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Judge, we'll get the clerk. No, okay. that's what I was going to tell you. We'll okay, item number six on your agenda won't be there. However, the clerk's excess fees are. I'll make a motion to acknowledge her excess fees. Uh, so, where, where are those excess fees? Where do they go? They go into the general fund. 
Motion by Sam to file a second rejection of the letter. How much more is that adding it up? I don't have the report, but yeah, a year it's like usually it 600000 It runs for office. here but give you the bottom line it's not as easy to find here what are you looking at the excess fees yes yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, your, it's a balance statement oh. where they mm -hmm. how much was it for it should be Bess's first attachment in yours your folders yeah I mean I've got the attachment but I'm having trouble reading do you want me to look at it please <laughs> Can you hand me yours? Do you have your copy? Here, I'll hand it to her. I don't have one. We're in the page here. It's our seven. I believe this list, everything that she takes in, I don't see that it lists what we, the actual excess fees are. Is it the difference between uh, the front page and the, and the back page? I'll see. The expenditures and the uh, total revenue generated? Do you like to order that? It's just a, it's the same. Technology report. Yeah, you're just acknowledging it. I know it's here. I'm going to judge. It's here somewhere. Judge, you want me to call it? I think they'll figure it out here. Well, I think you're right on this page where it says total revenues over expenditures. It's seventy thousand sounds like Yeah, about seventy thousand dollars. It's two forty two and then the difference of two set four seventy two. Yeah. Seventy thousand. Yeah. So it's it's right at seventy, sixty nine, yeah. seventy one, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I don't have a calculator. Last year it was a little total for a year was a little over sixty thousand uh, six hundred thousand. Yeah. We have the motion and second. Is there any further discussion? Being that I'm say aye. 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 Polls like sign. Uh, it passes. The clerk certification, same way. I make a motion to accept or to acknowledge. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion on that? Being that I'm say aye. 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 Uh, post like sign, post care. Uh, we have a resolution. It's just to allow WPTs plan for a grant for their expansion out there, which, uh, if you know, we were in a meeting at their plant and they told us all about it. But it has to, we have to pass a resolution to allow them to do it and to allow me to sign the. Uh, How much are they asking for? A million? I believe it's a million. A million dollars? Yeah, I believe a million. Oh, so good. Second. Second by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Being that all in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed uh, like sign. The resolution is passed. Yeah, they've got, uh, they've got. Judge, did they tell us how many jobs that would create? Yes, I'm a pretty sure it's between uh, 30 and 40. Yeah, between they're doing the dirt work. They're doing the dirt work right They're dirt work now. Between 30 and 40. Maybe even up to 50. Could be up to there, yeah. They told us that day we went, but we've got to sign up. In the business, business right beside them with the good. They're good. Right beside their other plan. They keep growing and growing. They're a good thing. Yeah. Um, the, the tax rate deal is next year. Um, do you reckon we need to do these individually or can we do them as a whole? I'd probably just do them individually. Okay. First, we have the tax rate for the public library. I'll make a motion for the public library. Motion by Jason Bullock. We're 
Here's there's a page with the rates in here. Right. Are you doing real or personal or? I think you can just do both. We'll, we'll do all, all oh, okay. yeah, just for all the. Just talk for, for both all the rates. For okay. Both. Did we get a second? No. I'll second. Okay. We have a second name. You get them, Miranda? Yep. Okay. Uh, 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 any discussion on those? We will say that it was the compensating rate of the formula that they used. So, uh, uh, all in favor say aye. Roll call then, if you don't hear. Okay, please. Okay. Roll call, Miranda. Cam? No. Morphew? Yes. Small? No. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Pass. Motion carries. Okay, now you have the health district's rates, and they are the compensation. Larry Morphew and I both sit on that board, and it was not no raise. I'll make a motion to accept the health department. Motion by Jason rates. Bullock. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any discussion? Okay. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Next year you have the uh, conservation district. Um, they uh, uh, they took compensating and they're so small you never see it anyway. I'll make a motion. Motion by uh, uh, Sam Ma? I'll second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any discussion? If there's no discussion, broke up. <coughs> Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, then you, the last one is the County Extension Services Tax Rate. Uh, I serve on that board and we took compensation. I'll make a motion. I'll hold that because I have a small second with Joe Barnes. It's the one at the very top, right? Not very bottom. No, no. extension. Extension is the very top. On, the, on, the, on this list we got. Uh, on the list. On the list. Yeah. On the list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. That's why I'm talking about it. Roll call. Cam? Uh, bear with me. I'm still looking here. He said it's top of the page. Top of the page. No. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Um, had notes here, we're kind of moving this one committee up above the rest of them, I guess because we just met. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a, a the Wage Scale Committee report that y'all met this afternoon uh, at uh, approximately 4 o'clock. Yep. Sam, are you are you going to do the report? Y'all go to the room. He did. Yeah, go ahead. Was I supposed to? No, I just was, we're both on it, so I just didn't want to tell you. Jump in there. Uh, we what we mainly did on this is we went through the wage scale, cleaned up some positions there that well, they weren't really positions; they were line items, and deleted the ones that we didn't have anybody in clarified them better and uh, just went down the list That's the one they did. on the uh, front one there, put a little bit more description on it, on a couple of things. Uh, the, the second page, I handed it out so y'all should be able to see it, is the uh, the roadway scale, uh, scale. and uh, we went in there, same thing. We had a little bit of duplication and, and some things that was not clarified. One thing was the class A's and class B's uh, on how we were paying that. 
we always intended for it to be the 20 cents on class B's, and then on class A's, you would get the 25 more, more cents if you obtained them after you're working for the county. If you're hired in with class A's, you would, you would get 45 cents. And uh, we uh, just adjusted some uh, things on that wage scale. If there's any questions, oh, you feel free to look over and call me on it. And, I can explain to you more, but that's pretty much it. We've got more description down here on, on the line item of Class A, so it, it's, it explains that. And on the multi-equipment, um, that was kind of complicated on understanding what me and Nick was talking about, so we clarified a little bit better on that. Anybody got any questions on that? That would be effective the 19th, next Sunday. Well, I'm going to put it in the form of motion, but I'm just telling what we presented. So I'm making a motion that we put we make this effective on the new wage scale. I'll second. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second by Larry Moore. The 19th. I think we still need the effective date. Yeah. Yeah, the 19th. Okay. That's next Sunday. Okay. Got it. Got a roll call? Um, I think, yeah, I'm better. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Uh, I've got some power sheets and some, some status changes I want to run to you now. Uh, I know they're in here because Miranda told me they were, so I'll find them here. You want me to go ahead and do the report on that quick? Won't you do that? Like okay. Any time, dig this out. So we, we're going to do the equipment committee. We tabled some equipment last meeting for some clarifications and everything. Uh, one was on the backhoe, and after doing uh, some calling and everything, and. Uh, Finding all the details out, we're going to buy the John Deere backup is what we're recommending. It was, I think, thirty thousand dollars cheaper, roughly, than you know we read the figures out. I don't have the figures in front of me, but we're going to buy the John Deere backup is what we want to recommend. So I'd make a motion to uh, buy the John Deere backup. Second, second by motion by Joe Barn. Second by Larry Count to buy the John Deere backhoe that was open, the bids were opened on at the last meeting. And authorize and to write the check. And authorize and to write the check. Hey, man. Yeah, it was. Pretty yes, much just the, the, to give you a little bit of description on that, the, the, the price difference, it, that, it was that much more, and uh, we, were, we were getting everything that we had specced out on the John Deere that we needed and everything. It was just a, it was a, a new redesigned cat backhoe, and it's why it came in from the tire. And it was a different, little deeper shade of uh, yellow. What would be should be delivered? <laughs> I don't know. Nick, Nick has been. I'll tweak them all. Good deal. Okay. And then the uh, the other one is the truck that we tabled. Well, let's go ahead and vote on this one real quick. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. Okay. Sorry, Joe. That's all right. Yeah, so the, on the truck, we was looking into some details on the gas versus the diesel and then, you know, all those clarifications. There were some things that Nick wasn't for sure on the bids that he got that was the uh, the lesser amount. It didn't have all the specs on the sheet, but we, we wanted to clarify that. You did check into all that and all the specs was on the sheet that yes, you required. I did go back down there. They did spec it just like everybody else off the sheet that I had to give them. And they checked everything right. off and said it was all right. And that was something we wanted on, you know, you know, that we made sure that they did meet all the specs. Uh, after uh, Nick looking into it, with the the warranty being longer on the diesel, it's uh, well, it's not longer. It's got more miles. You get forty thousand more miles on the diesel, and we did look into the resale value, and the, what he found on the resale value is a uh, hundred thousand mile diesel pickup truck, that, that same model, the Ram, versus 100,000 mile gas pickup truck. The diesel is bringing 
you know, supposed to be the same shape equivalent, eleven thousand dollars more. So on as far as you know, on the wage committee, I would recommend that we try the diesel and see what see what we think about it and see if the we're getting the, the more torque and more power and a, a longer actually I I didn't think we would, but we'd get in a it won't get hot when we push the snow and stuff either. Well it's got the bigger coolers and everything. The uh, we give it a try and see what you need that in the form of a motion. Well, wait a minute, I was gonna and uh, we, we see what it is and you know even though we're not going to get rid of it at 100,000 miles when we do sell them they'll still bring a lot more it's just we don't know how far we're going to run it out to so we just we were just doing a comparison gas versus diesel what the, what the prices are going to go for <laughs> Joe you said that uh, now how much how much higher is the diesel than the gasoline is? When it, it was yeah. when it comes to resale value that doesn't make much difference it does it, so. but the only thing that I say is and I'm, I was uh, I, I've always been in favor of diesel but we we watched our uh, emergency services ambulances out there and they've all went to gasoline because they said it's uh, far cheaper to operate right it's far cheaper if you have any problems uh, gasoline's cheaper and the engine will run just about as long as the diesel will. So, uh, and then we're paying eight thousand more dollars for it. Right. Uh, I've always been a diesel person, but now when I start start spending eight thousand more dollars for a truck that I think that the other truck will suffice, then that, that's uh, that's just my fault. Well, and and you got a good point. And I know when the the emergency services switched over, which I know you know they're not. I mean, I don't want to say they're not working on because they they have to be dependable, yeah. and and you know they are carrying several people in those in those boxes weight, which they are aluminum. But in the workforce, you know, I'm kind of you know, what's the trade off that we're going to get? The only way I know to do is it, you know we try one and see what we kind of get you know during the snow season. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's got the snow plow kit and everything with it, but it doesn't have the hookup on it, right? So you'll have to get the yeah, it, it, yeah. Have to put the bracket. so you know none of them comes with the bracket so we'll have to add the bracket on either truck that we add and i think that's the you know the next thing whichever truck we buy as a court we need to go ahead and uh, make a motion to put the snowplow bracket on on the truck but i'd make i'd make the motion to to buy the diesel and try it out and see how it works uh, we don't know until we try it, but uh, um, I'll second that motion. And I'll press we'll discuss it. Nick, I mean, it, you, way your input on it, what were you thinking on this then? I'm thinking the diesel is the direction we need to go. And then you want to put that in about writing the check. And for Ann to write the check. So we have motion, second. Further discussion? Thank you. Okay. Cam? No. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Uh, just because we're into the equipment part now, and then we're fixing to shift gears to personnel. Do we need to do the motion on the snowplow too, or is that just something that we're going to just need to order one of those? But yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be a uh, little bill surprise. You gonna get one of them ordered, Nick? Okay. Uh, on, on, along was that all the equipment that you had? Yes. Yeah. Along the line of equipment, they want to declare some stuff surplus. Go. So I'm gonna let. Uh, uh, you got a copy for everybody? Nope. I only printed off one. Ain't too high. Okay. My budget's kind of tight. Unless I get the road department, give me some budget. Describe the equipment on a couple uh, of these. That's the ambulance, also the Sam Hood. Uh, the ambulance that we got there is one that we, Lynn Hartford Fire Department, they are no longer in need of it. Uh, no department out there is in need of it. So I would like to declare that surplus. The other equipment on there is what Nick has cleaned up around the road department, put it out there in the back. 
He can describe some of that stuff because I have no idea. But the salt spreader, there's two of them. When you see that. We don't have a list of them, or do we have a list? That's it right there. Right there. <clears throat> There's like 2002 band style hamlets. So uh, they were using it on the Hartford Fire Department as a, as a just a, a response vehicle? vehicle. Yeah, and it hadn't been running probably almost two years. It's been sitting out of Hartford North. That is, Nick can explain that. Hey, Nick. Any other department? Can you explain what that one thing is that's on the back of the truck? That's that chip sprayer. Oh, okay. It's actually uh, mounts onto the back of a dump truck. No, that's it. What, what Joe's got in his hand, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. I don't remember what we did for it, but. Uh, and there's a gray salt spray. There's two of them. So. This one here. One caddy and one No, there's a gray one. There's a gray one. Too. Yeah, there's a gray one. There's a gray one in there, and there's two of them. That's a, a smaller one. Yeah, and The gray ones, they slide in your truck. They slide in the dump trucks. Dump trucks. Same like Yeah. He said, "Is this one here, Larry?" Okay. Uh, they hydraulic. Is that orange? Are they hydraulic? Yeah. Uh, man, I know this. This. Uh, but we wouldn't. I know you could find out, but we just have any idea what we paid for that? I've got the equipment list in my office, and since I've been tracking them, I've put it on there if it was available. How old is that? I don't know how. Keith bought had. it when he's with well, his first year. Yeah, we he probably have it. Did it's you want me to go look? Years old, but I'd like to know what it's cost. Okay. It gives us some kind of idea. If we need probably to put some kind of reserve in it. It's always a chip spreader, right? Or, you know. You have to come help me look for it. They, yeah, they do. They do use that. Yeah, go ahead. Talking about on the tailgate spreader, they, they, they I don't have much of what that thing yeah. is. That's where it's at. Yeah. Oh well, especially with the rain bleeding. Uh, no, they they got something else that goes with that one. Right, but it's just a tailgate. Uh, will you have any objections since we're waiting for that question? And when there's no motion on the floor with this uh, surplus equipment, if I went in and done these personnel status changes, on the way. The first one is Brandon Kessinger at the Animal Shelter from part time to full time. Uh, new rate of pay would be 1242. Uh, beginning 9-12. Um, I just need a roll call, Miranda. Okay. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, the next one is that the, uh, there's an open position at the senior center for a meal driver. Uh, Brenda Smith Preston, the Weeds, beginning 969. Uh, that's a part time job at Mill Driver. Uh, book off. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Uh, the courthouse maintenance, does. the courthouse uh, cleaning person, uh, custodian. Uh, that you, we heard one the last meeting or maybe two meetings ago. She's already left, so I'm putting up Dondra Renfro um, at the uh, 11:33. Uh, a 
effective tomorrow. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, I believe we're going to cut one down to one lower. Uh, that wasn't the one. That's not John. That wasn't John. That's a, the one. No, we're obviously. going to do that the next meeting. The okay. interview process and the search process. How come we're having such a turnover on that on the custodian position. I mean, uh, I would. I wish I could answer this that better than this, and I sure don't like to sound the way I'm sounding. Uh, it's hard to find people to take entry level jobs when there's more money out there from the government than there is working at that place. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, don't I, mean, that, I don't like to talk like that, but I'm afraid that's the case. That's true. Yeah. Uh, the last one I have for you is uh, Kenny Offrey, of course, has taken over the HR for us. He's still administrative assistant, um, but uh, we felt the HR is this uh, clerical uh, slot that he goes in at 1510 an hour uh, effective uh, this week what, what uh, what's he at now he, he, he was an administrative assistant um, uh, working as a uh, uh, shoot workforce development person which is yeah. fits in what he wants to do just as his mission. Okay. It was at 1170 something, I believe. And we're going to what? 1510. But like I said, this is a different job and it's something we haven't addressed for many years. He's been with me at that rate since uh, uh, 20, uh, January 2015. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? No. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. That's all them. We're, I guess we're at the point. Um, we're waiting for the uh, for that to come back on that. We'll get the personnel out of the way. And, uh, Charlie, I think that's a piece. Is it time for the committee? I got one thing. No, that's going to be about another 45 minutes. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, a couple of meetings go. Y'all put together a communication committee. Yes. And for the, I think it's the Harper money, the number one thing is to upgrade our communication. We have met with the sheriff, all law enforcement, all fire, and all EMS, and they agreed to, to work on the sheriff's department radios. Because up in the Fortsville area, we can't get out. The other day we had 18 Willow Rec and even the sheriff was up there on his portable, couldn't reach, couldn't reach out of his mobile. Uh, so what they would like to do, ask y'all to take bids on three new repeater sites and 20 in-car repeaters for the sheriff's department to for the county, take bids on that and working with conjunction with what we already got. He's got, so 20, he's he's got, got 20 deputies? He's got 20 cars. And that way it would help out like Derek down in Centertown, city of Beaverdam said they would buy their own in-car repeaters. I don't know about Hartford buying them because they got Hartford money too. And they was, they're going to buy that. Those 20 cars, that's not any cars that's getting ready to go up for. No, what well, these are, these will be. Out of the department, right? They, no, this is a device that will be mounted into a car. But so he, if they get sold or whatever, they get pulled out and re put back okay. in there. And basically what an in-car repeater does, it takes a handheld radio from five watts to 35 watts. So it'll help them out. And the Centertown area and the Fortsville area is the roughest spots for communications. And we've worked with both agencies. Derek has down at Centertown, and they agreed to put a repeater on top of their water tank. Then the other one in the Fortsville on that uh, cell phone tire beside the water tank up there. And that way, Kirk Lane, which is Midwestern Gas, all three of them will talk to each other and help out with the radio coverage throughout the county. This will, this will just be a motion for taking bids. Yeah. Uh, and this is coming from... It don't guarantee us paying money. Right. No, it does not. So Only I'll make a bids. motion that we accept bids. Or so take bids on the repeaters. What are we talking about for each one of you think of the ballpark? You know, we talked to several different vendors, and uh, the whole system combined, you're probably looking at 200 
twenty to two hundred twenty-five thousand. That's for the car repeaters and the uh, all twenty, all all twenty, <laughs> and the three additional repeaters and uh, sockets, which is the antennas and power That's supplies. correct. That's still put it up. Take care of all the license. Take care of all the fees and all that. Right. And we, the way we're going to do it is. We're going to separate the bids for 20 in-car repeaters, then the three additional repeaters. That way we see how they come in and let the court decide if we want to do everything as a whole or if we want to do step one, step two, or right. how we're going to do that. Okay. I think we need a second for discussion. Yeah, we do. Uh, we did. We got a second. I, I, second. I didn't get a motion to second. You got Sam, a motion to second. Joe. Sam and Joe. Joe. Sam. <laughs> I heard Sam. I didn't hear Joe. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. Um, but anyway, I will. I'll get specs to you tomorrow. Do you want people to call your office for specs? Like yes. The rest of them? Yeah. Yeah. When you sell a car, or you can take them out real easy? Or? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. They, they will be, the be just like a mobile radio in there. They'll attach. Like every state police uh -huh. car they got in the state's got one in there. And right now, Chris Matthews has one in his. We're trying it out. So far, I mean, the city of Beardam had it. And Tommy over, he had it. He said he absolutely loved it. I have not gotten Chris to see how he likes it uh, out here in our rural area. Yeah, this is just an apparatus that amplifies the signal then. That is very correct, sir. And like I said, we're not obligated to buy anything right now. We're just going to take bids and Plus, see what the three separate sites that's going to be fixed out in the... Correct. Right now, the way it works, the sheriff only has one repeater for the whole county, and that's at Kirk Lane. So no matter if he's in Fordsville, Horse Branch, Rockport, Centertown, yeah. or Utah, he's got to talk back to Kirk Lane. Kirk Lane talks to dispatch and vice versa. Sure, and, is there uh, any way that you can amplify it at the Kirk Lane or Midwest? That's what this is doing right now. Yeah, uh, I mean, amplify it. Not right now. We're, we got the, we're maxed out on it. And it's just because we're the fifth largest county in the, in the Commonwealth. We got all the hills and valley and every study we've done from Molo Roller to Kenwood. It said pretty much the same thing, not one repeater is going to work. You're talking about putting just a much more powerful in the one spot. And EMS was here. The reason they talked so good, John Holder was there. And he's, of course, their antennas is on top of their box. And they usually do mobile radios more than they do portables. So that helps them out because their antennas is much higher. Well, did they have any problem in Fordville and Centertown? They, yeah. With service? There's problems up in the Fort Hill area out 69 towards Hancock, or not yeah, towards Hancock County up in that way. And it's just because there's so many hills between there and Kirk Lane. And this would help out tremendous. Okay, motion second, discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, black sign. Motion carries. Uh, you've got the price back for him on the... Yeah. Yeah, and, and this would be with the ARCHA funds that you're looking at, Charlie. Yeah, that's what that money I think for the judge and hand for the emergency side. Yeah, the emergency, emergency side of patients. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the tailgate prayer was bought in August of 17. It looks like it was uh, $4,131. Uh, you guys think we need to put a reserve on it? or? I know. Yeah. Uh, we ought to at least be half. I know. What do you think? <laughs> but, uh, I mean, because it's technically brand new, but. Yeah, I'd say at least two or five years, years ago. ago. I, agree. I, think, I, I think the problem we're running into that that was the one certain individuals wanting it, but that wasn't what we needed. So, but having said that, so you, you have uh, the mo you want do I hear a motion to uh, uh, put declare these out of surplus and put a uh, uh, two thousand uh, dollar minimum on the spread? Yeah. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Cannon. Any more discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Really making it easy for Miranda to do the minutes tonight because she has a template of how she does it and now she's having to move it off. But anyway, you got it covered, all right? All right. Um, let me see where we are here. Got that stuff done. I think we're ready to, uh, uh, no, let's talk about the, Sam, before we do our closed session, the pump. All right. Uh, Y'all turned it over to me 
two meetings ago to look into the booster pump for the uh, area out past the golf course, them houses, I think there's five houses, golf course, animal shelter, VFW, and they all don't have no water, or don't have good water pressure. So if anything gets turned on below them, they actually have no water pressure. Uh, after talking with the, the city, uh, and us going half, uh, that would be no more, it was 23,600, I'd say no more than $24,000. All together, same. All together for us. Oh, for uh, the, to, the total thing is 46,000 and some dollars, but that was just for our part. Uh, I'm making the motion right now. You'll second it. Motion to Sam Small, second to Larry Morphy. You know, that'll be, uh, that won't come out of our, uh, our particular money is on the extension waterline money, but it's the ARPA money. It comes out of the ARPA on the, uh, it probably have, we're going to see if it can come out of the other side. That sure. might it, come come out of it, it can, I've looked it up. It come yeah. on the other side. Yeah. 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 Do we, do we have yeah. this on paper anywhere where I can put it? As an attachment? We had it as an actual number, I think, don't you? Well, we had, had it last time. And we yeah, it. I had put down 23000 I think they they gave you the invoice. Yeah. But we'll get one tomorrow. Yeah, we'll okay. get it. And all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like to say That's that we got that done. Now I would like to have a motion for us to go into a short, or the office going to have to be waiting on us, short post session under uh, KRS 61. 810 Chapter 1, Section F. So I'm going to make time for saying you also. Okay. 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 All favor, follow me. Okay. I make a motion to go back in. Okay. 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 Motion second. All favor, say aye. Aye. Back in open session. Uh, even though I think we've done most of them, is there any more committee reports? I think we got one. Yeah, why was the whole area? Okay. All right. Okay. Is there any other committee reports that we didn't get earlier? I, I, I just want to two things real quick. I mean, yeah, suicide one. prevention have a big deal. We right. Saturday we had a our second annual suicide uh, you, awareness yeah, walk. Two, um, Beautiful day. Had several people out there. A lot of donations and uh, that's second annual. We look forward to doing it again next September. So uh, you didn't make it out this year. Uh, we look forward to having our third annual suicide awareness walk and continue to grow. And uh, we had a big time that this Saturday at the park. And also, it was a big weekend for a couple of my committees. We had the uh, Jerusalem Ridge Festival this weekend. I worked Saturday, or Friday night, and Sunday. And I'm telling you, people in Ohio County, if you've not been to the Jerusalem Ridge Festival, you're missing out. So it's a beautiful, um, beautiful place, nice event. And even if you don't like bluegrass music, I can't say that I'm a big fan. It is a, uh, it's a nice place to go up and uh, to look at. And it's hard to believe how pretty it looks. It's, uh, it's beautiful, especially at nighttime. So uh, we had people, I talked to somebody from Maine, Alabama, two people from Wisconsin, Ohio, just several states, but I mean, they, and they all act like they were coming back, and uh, we even got some addresses, and they said they were gonna come, and uh, we're gonna send them some brochures to help, they're gonna spread the information out that way up in their state, so uh, it, was a, it was a nice event to have all the people from every state around. Did the turnout was good, I can't say it was big right now. It's getting there. It's it's more than last year. It's about like last year. You know, since we had that layoff, uh, just getting our name back out again. Because I think the last big festival was in 2011 there, and this has been our second one. So just to get the information, we're back doing it again. And so people said they were willing to help, and it's it's quite an experience, guys. If you've never been, you need to go. Quality, very quality, yeah. quality talent. And also, uh, I guess this is not this land here, so don't forget the Ohio County Fair yeah. coming up next week. Everybody get out and support the Ohio County Fair. And I guess that's all the committees I have. Any more committee reports? Do I have to go to uh, magistrate's comments, uh, Sam? Yeah, uh, kind of like Jason was just talking about. We want to remember the fair and that it's coming and, and uh, 
We need to do everything we can do to support it. Also, I want to give a kudos out for the uh, Kentucky Fast Girl Association. Uh, they held an event this weekend in at the amphitheater in Beaver Dam. Had over a hundred or had a hundred contestants, uh, plus family and all the, the excess. They stayed in our hotels, they ate at our restaurants, and it was four days of it. Uh, Twelve different states, uh, from Texas to Wisconsin, uh, or Texas to Pennsylvania. I think Wisconsin was there too. So, you know, we got a lot of things that's going in this county that that could become big, and this Bastard Association it, it's working on it. So, uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, for that association, which is in Beaver Dam. Uh, Nick Maiden's the president of it. Uh, he's really done good. He put this show on, and and I just want to give a shout out to him. And that was the state tournament. Did you say yeah, that? Well, it was a Kentucky state tournament. Kentucky state tournament. I think we, we host that, and if they win, they go to uh, Nevada. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. I know. I uh, Sam, I draw against them, and uh, it's pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> but but that that is good. It's interesting. I like it. There's a lot going on. Plus, Centertown Days and uh, Rosine Days, or whatever they call. Well, in fact, I was just going to put a. I'm in for Ford <coughs> which is this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, uh, it, and I'm sure the schedules couldn't be helped, you know, because the Ford days and the fire going on at the same time. Yeah. It's probably not the best thing to do, but I wish they both succeed and come out of it. Right. Douglas Joe's got something. Yeah. Thank you. Larry, you got anything else? Yeah, just uh, Charlie's already left, I think, but I'm just curious as to what we. Before we add on the check, I want to keep up with that. Uh, okay, Justin actually uh, is is getting the the uh, interlocals to everybody, and uh, the judges will have them back up here in the uh, very first of the month. Okay, that's all I have. Okay. Yes, I'd like to read something. And, uh, to whom it may concern, I do not support federal COVID. 19 vaccine mandates. I believe that vaccination makes sense, but I also believe that the American people should have the right to decide for themselves whether to be vaccinated or not. The COVID-19 vaccine mandate affects over 80 million Americans. Mandating vaccines on private businesses will further harm their ability to harm workers as they look to bring employees back to the workplace. People should consult with their physicians and make their own informed decisions. Destroying people's livelihoods is not the answer. I have respect. I respect people to make the choice that's best for them. Therefore, I cannot support President Biden's mandate. We resist any forced vaccinations and Four vaccines. I'd like to make a motion that we send a copy of this to the General Assembly, and our governor, our two U.S. senators, and our congressman. Send a letter to them about how we. Just like that. that. Unless somebody wants to add I'll, something I'll else. I'll second that motion. Well, since we got a second for discussion, uh, I am. Not in the favor of anybody telling me what to do. Like I know that, Sam. And uh, <laughs> a but you a know, I think, there, Sam, okay? I know, but I think us as government, just like it was on smoking, that it's not our place to tell you you can or cannot smoke. Uh, I got vaccinated, and and I hope everybody that wants to get vaccinated gets vaccinated. But I don't believe we force them to. I don't believe it's right to. Uh, you lose your job or you get vaccinated. Uh, I believe that's discrimination. And I ain't for it. Now, uh, to send that to our governor and our senators, I think, uh, I think I'll vote for it. I don't like the idea of, of uh, whamming them like that, but then again, they whammed us. So I'll be for, sending that to our state and local. Yeah. Well, 
I truly don't believe in mandates. Uh, I mean, making somebody do it, I don't think you could anyway. But I'm so much an advocate for the vaccine. Um, you're, we, we got information uh, to, today that shows that uh, you're 10 times more likely to get sick and hospitalized from COVID if you have not had your vaccine. And you're 11 times more apt to die from COVID if you don't get the uh, vaccine. So, and I have to, in all good conscience, promote and wishing people would get it. Uh, I don't want to be mandating anybody, but I have trouble. Uh, I mean, we're going to send it if we both do it. But uh, I don't want to ever be accused of uh, talking both ways. Uh, nobody's ever here ever thought about mandating it. But there's many of us, including all the physicians in the county now, are on board with, with uh, uh, advocating the uh, vaccine. Um, so with those statistics, uh, that sort of does my report on the COVID tonight. But if y'all vote to pass it, I'll help see that it gets to where you want it to go. We're not saying nothing about not taking it, Judge. I know. It I says I believe that vaccination makes sense. But I also believe the American people should have the right to decide for themselves whether to be vaccinated or not. And I guess, I guess that's... Uh, uh, well, I'm going to go to is saying I believe everybody should get shot. I, I, I believe in the vaccine. I think it makes sense. Just like you said, I'm not for mandates either. I, you know, I, it should be a choice. Um, I didn't know about this letter, uh, but I do think that it should, I think it should be a choice. But I will say I recommend. I feel like everybody should get the vaccine because. From what I've seen, it, 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 it makes sense. And, you know, we've had vaccines in our past. We've all taken. Uh, we used to take them before we went into school, smallpox, measles, and all those kinds of things. Still do. And we still do. And, um, yeah, I took the vaccine. I would encourage everybody to uh, speak to your doctor. If, you know, I, I know there's doubts and scares in some people, but there's so much information out there that's not accurate and not true. Uh, but uh, I would encourage everybody to get the vaccine. I've got it. I got it for my kids. I'll go ahead and tell you I got for my children too because I want them protected. Uh, but I, I don't agree in mandating. You know, that's your choice. If you don't want to get it, uh, I do believe that's your choice. I think we have a motion second. So we'll get some of the folks there. Let's roll call. Roll call it. Okay, yeah. roll call. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Abstain. Okay, motion carried. Anybody want to sign it? We, we we'll welcome to it. I got we'll get her on the road. If you want Miranda to mail it out to him, she will. I, I don't know all the, uh, you know know the news. I don't care. Okay, uh, is that all there? Yeah. Uh, anybody for the good of the yeah. body? Have anything for the audience for the good of the body? Uh, if not, this meeting's adjourned. We'll see y'all back in a little while. Sam, you want to sign it?